You've probably heard the term data analyst floating around online. But what does that actually mean? Why are so many people switching into it? And how do you even get started, especially if you don't come from a tech background? In this video, I'll break it all down for you. And I'll tell you how I went from a £26,000 salary to a six-figure salary in two and a half years, all through data. Let's go. Now, what is a data analyst? Now, a data analyst is someone who turns raw data into meaningful insights for a business so that they can take action. Now, what does that mean without all of the jargon? So if you imagine a supermarket, say a Walmart or a Tesco, if you're in the UK, you walk into a supermarket and you see a bunch of different items from different suppliers. So you'll see chocolate from a Cadbury's, you'll see drinks from a Coca-Cola, you'll see video games from Sony and board games from Hasbro and so on and so forth. Now at the end of the month, our supermarket has to write a report. So they're getting all this different data in from their different suppliers in a different format, but they need to collate it into one format so that they can accurately write their report. So if you imagine our supplier that's supplying video games, say Sony, sends us information on the price of each item and the column name that they're sending it says uh, item underscore price. And then we're getting information from Cadbury's and the chocolate that just says price. And then we're getting information from Hasbro on our board games that says price, but the values in there are to two decimal places. But for Sony, it's to one decimal place. Now we've got the same information that we need for one column, which is the price, but we've got it in different formats, in the form of different column names or different formats of the values. Now this is where Excel and SQL comes in, in terms of the cleaning of the data and transforming it into a way in which we can have it in one format to report on. And then once we've done the cleansing of the data, pull the data that we need, we then want to put it into a visualization tool so that we can give it to the business so they can visualize and see their insights in an easy way to understand. And that's where your Power BI comes in or your Tableau or your Click. Yeah. So it's all one process of taking the data that's messy, raw, and means very little to anyone. And we make it meaningful and create actions from it to send to the business so that they can look at it, understand their data and do what they need to do to keep the business flowing. So why become a data analyst? Now I'd rather answer why it's become such a popular career choice in 2025. And I'd say the following, there's no formal degree required, which means that anyone can become a data analyst with the right structure and willingness to learn. It's high in demand across multiple industries from retail, sales, finance, healthcare, and massive in sport these days. So it's not only driving the decisions to buying players in sport, but also the performance and injuries. It, remote working opportunities are really good within data. It pays well. As I said, I started on 26,000 pounds and was able to get a six figure salary in just over two and a half years. There's really good progression in the data space. So, you know, from junior analyst to data analyst, senior analyst, data scientist, um, you know, up, up all the way up to like a, a CDO or a CTO as well. And it's a really creative industry. And ultimately, you don't need to be a genius or a programmer. You just need to be analytical and have a real willingness to learn. So I'd say those are the reasons why you should become a data analyst and why it's ultimately so popular at the moment. Now the all important, how do you become one? There's lots of free and paid material out there. I don't think there's a right answer as to which to choose. I think it's very much dependent on where you currently are at in your data analysis journey. I would say to have a look around the market and select a program that best suits where you're currently at and what you're currently looking for. So keeping it super high level, I think from a technical standpoint, definitely start with Excel. So that's from the very basics of Excel from entering data, um, difference between entering numbers and entering text, to then going into more complex features of Excel, such as sums, functions, VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, pivot tables, conditional formatting, power query, macros, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I think once you are comfortable with Excel, 
to the point that you can clean data in there, transform data in there, and analyze data in there, move on to SQL. Now, SQL is how companies access their databases. So you'll need to learn how to write SQL code, uh, write queries to pull data from the databases and ingest into a visualization tool. My preferred is Power BI, but there are different ones that are popular as well, such as Click and Tableau. I think Power BI is the easiest one to start learning if you're a complete beginner, but the others are also really good. So once you pull the data into a visualization tool, you'll then create insights in the form of a dashboard. This then goes to the business and they're able to see their data in a visual manner. And often what happens is the data then will come back into Excel. Once the stakeholders taken the data that they need from the dashboards, they'll export it back to Excel and often put into some form of table or pivot table where they analyze their data. Excel is just a super universal tool that's been around for years. So it's like a full cycle where it starts with Excel and then ends up back in Excel once it's gone through our data analyst process. So in terms of data sets, I'd start with smaller data sets. So you just get comfortable and familiar with you know, pulling data from SQL from a small data set, putting that data into a visualization tool and creating small tables, pie charts, um, you know, building slices, filters, and just creating a visually appealing dashboard. And then the last thing I'd say to do is to start building projects. So just start building your own portfolio. Uh, it could be in the form of a research project or uh, raw data that you already have or raw data that you find on the internet. There's lots of free resources online. Uh, there's lots of ways in which you can pull data that actually just sits online in different tables from say, example, uh, Wikipedia. I'll put an example on screen of how you can do that. So uh, if you wanted to pull data from say this Olympics data set, you could actually take the link from Wikipedia, you can paste it into your Power BI. And once you select get data, click from a web link, and you can click this in. And then once you have your preview on screen, you can then select the table that you want and it just pulls straight from the internet straight into your Power BI dashboard. And you can start transforming your data and doing visualizations. So I'd say once you're at that point where you've done a number of these projects and you started to put together a portfolio, I think you're in a great position to start applying for jobs and start speaking to employers and show off all your new skills as a data analyst. Now, there's lots of different ways in which you can get started with this. As I said, like there's lots of free material out there and paid material. I'd say that structured programs are probably the best way if you're a complete newbie because it just packages it in a way in which you don't have to do too much research. You don't have to waste too much time on finding out what's best and uh, what you don't need and the stuff that you do need. So again, it just depends on where you're at in your journey. If you're someone who is looking for a job immediately and you want to get started as soon as possible, then a structured program is probably for you. If you're someone who just wants to upskill in these skills or someone who's you know tentatively looking and happy to uh, learn at your own pace and you know get a job once you're ready, then you know maybe there's uh, the free material is a better choice for you, a Udemy or a YouTube and there's lots of material out there. Now, I hope you found value in this video and feeling ready to kickstart your data analysis journey. Now, if you want to do so with myself, at Data Edge, we run a 16-week data mentorship program where you'll learn everything you need to learn from Excel to SQL to Power BI and build out your project portfolio. And you get your money back if we don't land you a job. So to find out more information on this and if you are eligible, then please hit the link in the description to apply and to book a consultation with myself. Now, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing more of you. Until next time.